Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, we're going to go over how to check if a player is in a state using JavaScript code, and how to change, add, and remove state uh, using JavaScript code. So, let's take a look at the game first, and I'll show you what's going to happen, and then I'll show you how to do that effect. So what we have here is Driftwood, and if we activate this altar, basically it's going to be removing blind. It's going to check if the player is blinded, and if they are blinded, it's going to take away the blind state. This uh, crystal next to them is going to do the opposite. It's going to check if they're not blinded, and if they're not blinded, it's going to blind them. So we've activated that, and now uh, Driftwood is blinded. If we activate it again, it doesn't do anything because he's already blinded, so it's not adding to the state. We go to the altar, it removes the blind, and that's basically it. We can add a blind here, and we can remove a blind here. So as we're just checking if there's a state, uh, and if there is that state, it's going to um, remove it in the opposite. So let's look at the altar first. So ignore the animation, it's just to show you that I've activated an event. We're going to do a script call as normal. Uh, we're going to do a conditional statement. We're going to go if parentheses dollar sign game capital a on actors dot actor and then once again the number inside the parentheses is going to uh, be directly taken from the database so whoever's in actor number one will be right here and you could always use a for loop like we did in the last episode to affect all actors then but we're going to use an extension called dot is state affected so we're going to put a dot, we're going to do uh, IS, capital S on state, capital A on affected. Remember, we're using camel case, so the first letter in every word is capitalized. Um, JavaScript is very uh, cap sensitive, as you probably already know, so pay attention to the capitalization. Inside the parentheses, this first set of parentheses for is state affected, we're looking for a state number. So once again, this number is going to reflect the database number. So if you go into the database um, in your states, we'll see that state number five is blind. So that's why it's uh, affecting blind. So we're checking if, if the player is affected by blind. And if they are, <clears throat> it's going to do this. Dollar game capital A on actors dot actor one, which is driftwood dot remove capital S on state five. So is the player blinded? And if the player is blinded, we're going to remove blind from player one, from actor one. <clears throat> and that's it for that one. Uh, the next one, it's basically the same thing, but we're going to use a new concept, exclamation mark. So basically, if you put an exclamation mark in front of your uh, conditional statement, it's going to say not. It's going to imply like the opposite. So basically, we're checking, uh, is the player not affected by blind? So if, if actor one is not affected by blind, then what we're going to do is dollar game capital A on actors dot actor one dot add capital S on state for five so if the player is not blinded we're gonna blind the player and that's basically it really really simple the new concepts for this one is the extension of dot is state affected dot add state and dot remove state also the exclamation mark to talk about how to do the opposite effect without having to code a bunch of extra things with one exclamation mark you can basically invert your condition so hopefully this video was helpful a really really short tutorial if you found it informative or entertaining please like favorite share and subscribe give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being awesome and we'll see you in the next tutorial